praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah today let us worship our god with all our heart this is father saju a team member from india he is a very very deep a very very committed evangelist in sagiyon ministries this is father soji from uk birmingham archdiocese and he is also took a full time committed he is fully committed for world evangelization we all are together here to preach in the thunder of god ministry this is only for the world evangelization hallelujah 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 we request you all you, you, you please pray for us all now let us together worship our lord for a greater anointing for a great anointing of the holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah Hallelujah let us stand up and let us shout be your anthem your renown fill the sky so we are here for you we are here for you let your word move in power let what's there come to life for oh, we are here for you we are here for you to you our hearts are open nothing here is hidden you are upon this side you alone are holy only you are worthy god your fire fall down you our hearts are open nothing here is hidden you are a wonder sire you alone are holy only you are worthy god let your fire fall down we welcome you with praise we welcome you with praise Almighty God of love we welcome in this place we welcome you with praise we welcome you with praise Almighty God of love we welcome in this place let every heart adore let every soul awake Almighty God of love we welcome in this place we welcome you with praise we welcome you with praise Almighty God in love, we welcome in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God in love, we welcome in this place. We welcome you with praise. Hallelujah, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you with praise, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, take a place, Lord Jesus. We welcome you with praise, the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. We worship you Lord. We worship you Lord. We adore you Lord. We adore you Lord. Lord we worship you. Lord thank you Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus today i would like to read a testimony from a man who was really addicted to sin and when he watched a talk by father savior he really received the holy spirit please listen to me my name is joju joseph i am from peterborough in the uk Although I was born in a Catholic family, 
during my adulthood, I lost my faith in Christ and addicted to alcohol and smoking. At times, I had severe thoughts of committing suicide as well as I felt no interest in living my life. Eventually, I lost my well-paid job. Once I had an opportunity to wa watch the Abhishekagni video preaching by Father Saver Ghan Vatail on YouTube. And Father Saver's preaching touched my soul and melted my stony heart. It made me thinking that I am on wrong path in my life and I certainly need a U-turn to God. I have made a decision to renounce and completely give up 24 years of addiction to alcohol consumption and smoking and I prayed for God's grace and mercy. By God's merciful intervention, I could stick on my decision successfully. Soon after this decision, my personal and my family life became so beautiful and I got back my job. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this person was watching an episode by Father Saviour Batail, who is the founder director of this Abhishekni and Thunder of God Ministries. He received a deliverance touch from the Holy Spirit. For 24 years, he was addicted to alcohol and smoking. And the Lord healed him. Jesus is alive. He can intervene in your life. So when you hear the word of God, you receive the Holy Spirit. Today, I would like to speak about how to become a child of God. My dear sisters and brothers, in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, Saint John teaches this. The Bible says, Jesus came to his own, but his own did not accept him. But those who accepted him, those who believed him, he gave them the power to become children of God. So, if you believe in Jesus, and if you accept him as the Lord of your life, Jesus will give you the power to become a child of God. So let us read that from the Bible. Please listen carefully. If you have got a Bible with you, please open your Bible. Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him, but to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God. So, my dear sisters and brothers, it is very, very important. Our Heavenly Father wants each one of us to be his children. But we have the freedom. Either you can accept Jesus or you can reject him. The person who gave the testimony for 24 years, he did not accept the Lordship of Jesus. But when he accepted Jesus, when he believed in Jesus, he became a son of God, a child of God. And Jesus says, during his ministry, many sinners received Jesus as their Lord. That's why Jesus says, the Pharisees and the scribes, or the leaders in those times, they didn't accept Jesus. That's why Jesus said, before you, the prostitutes and sinners will enter into the kingdom of God because they received Jesus. It's very, very important. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 31. Truly I tell you, 
the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. So the tax collectors were considered as sinners. The prostitutes, of course, are sinners. But these people, they understood that they need salvation. They need a redeemer in their life. So when they came to know that Jesus is the son of God, they received him. That's why Jesus says, before you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes will enter into the kingdom of God. So my dear sisters and brothers, either you can reject him or you can accept him. We have the freedom. Each one of us that freedom. Today, as you are listening to the word of God, some of you might not have accepted the Lordship of Jesus into some areas of your life. Open those areas to Jesus right now. Let Jesus Christ come into that area of your difficulties, maybe some uh, sinful situations. Jesus came to redeem us from sin. Just accept him. I remember a few years ago, I was preaching in a prison back in Kerala in India. While I was preaching the word of God, I said to the prisoners, if you accept Jesus as the Lord of your life, right now, he can come to your life. If you offer all your sins to Jesus, he can save you because Jesus came to call sinners. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, the Bible says, you have to name him Jesus. The angel said to Joseph, you have to name your son Jesus because he will save the people from their sin. So basically, the Lord has come to save you from your sins. So I said to the prisoners, if you accept the Lordship of Jesus right now, you will become the children of God. You will become the sons and daughters of God. My dear sisters and brothers, the word of God is very powerful. It's powerful more than anything in the world. So these poor prisoners, many of them, after my talk, they began to cry. And many of them came, they accept the Lordship of Jesus. I still remember a man came to me by crying. He said, Father, I want Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I prayed for him. He accepted the Lordship of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's why Jesus says, the tax collectors and the prostitutes will go into the kingdom of God before scribes and Pharisees. So, dear sisters and brothers, Jesus gives his Holy Spirit to all those who accept his Lordship. In his letter to Galatians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, St. Paul speaks this beautiful thing. He says, a God, our Heavenly Father, has poured out his Spirit into our hearts so that we all will be able to call him Abba Father. Jesus used this word Abba, the beautiful Aramaic word to call him, call his father. And St. Paul says, our heavenly father will pour out the same spirit into our heart, into your heart, so that you will be able to call him Abba Father. It's a beautiful experience, my dear sisters and brothers, to call our God, Abba, Appa, Daddy, whatever, whatever form you call him, you can call from your heart because you have received that spirit, the same spirit which allowed Jesus to call him, call his father, Abba. Please listen to that word. Galatians chapter 4, verses 6 to 8. And because you are his children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. 
so you are no longer a slave but a child and if a child then also an heir through god beautiful my dear sister and brother you are a child of god you are a son you are a daughter hallelujah hallelujah and the bible gives us lots of privileges when we accept jesus as our savior as our lord when you become a child of god the lord himself will reveal the things of heaven that's why when jesus prayed the gospel of matthew chapter 11 verse 25 and 26 jesus prayed to heavenly father oh heavenly father i thank you because you have revealed these things to the infants please listen at that time jesus said i thank you father lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants yes father for such was your gracious will yes when you become a child of god your father will reveal the heavenly things i remember while i was a parish priest back in coimbatore in india a man came to me and said father my mom is very poorly she is in the hospital the doctor said to me that she has severe cancer the doctors did not tell my mom that she has cancer please pray for me and he said my father has died a few years ago and i am the only child then a thought came to my mind and i said to him antony you are a child of god the bible gives you a promise if you are a child of god the lord will bear your infirmities your shortcomings because the bible says the gospel of saint matthew chapter 8 verses 16 and 17 the bible says he has come to bear your infirmities and your sickness and i said to him just to claim this word of god for your mom the lord will heal her the lord will intervene in her life in a very powerful way and i prayed for him and he went to a shrine of saint antony and she, he sat there for a uh, few hours and he prayed to jesus and my dear sisters and brothers the next day the doctor called him and said to him antony have got a good news your mom has no cancer she's okay praise the lord praise the lord when you become a child of god the lord will bear your infirmities you are going to experience that praise the lord praise the lord and another thing when you become a child of god god accepts your imperfect services many of you who are watching this episode are parents your children may have some imperfections but their services please you because they are your children the same way though we have got imperfections our heavenly father accepts us with all our imperfections with all our disabilities because we are children of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus and my dear sisters and brothers now let us open our hands and hearts to the lord now i am going to pray for you if you want to close your eyes you can close your eyes accept the lord jesus christ you are savior and your redeemer if you believe in him 
if you accept him he will give you the power to become a child of god abba father in jesus name i pray for your sons and daughters who are watching this episode lord you know their tribulations their worries lord jesus intervene in the lives of your children oh lord open our life, open our hearts accept your lordship jesus you are our savior you are our master you are our lord jesus jesus you're my lord yes lord you have risen from the dead and you're my lord we believe in you lord jesus yes my knee shall bow jesus and my tongue confess that jesus christ is lord jesus is lord you are lord you're my lord you have risen from the dead and you're my lord Every knee shall bow yes, my knee shall bow and my tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord Abba Father with the church we pray the beautiful prayer your son christ jesus has taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord we worship you jesus we adore you lord Hallelujah praise you lord Jesus we enthrone you we proclaim you are king Jesus we enthrone you we proclaim you are king. with our praise standing here in the midst of us we raise you up with our praise and as we worship build your throne and as we worship build your throne as we worship build your throne come on jesus and take your place come lord jesus and take your place come lord jesus and take your place
holy and exalted Jesus. Holy and exalted Jesus. Jesus said, I am the bread of life who has come down from heaven to give life to those who believe in me. Lord, we believe that you are really present in the holy sacrament. Lord Jesus, give us your grace and anointing so that we may accept you as the only savior of our life. Jesus, we believe in you, Lord Jesus. You are our God and our Master. Lord, stretch out your right hand and touch, heal your people. Sisters and brothers, during this time of the Eucharistic blessing, I pray in a special way for all those who are suffering from sickness, especially the children who have got allergies, who have got eczema. The Lord Jesus Christ wants to heal you. Offer your sickness to the Lord and during this time of blessing receive a healing from the Lord Jesus. Offer all your sickness, your deformity to the hands of the Lord and give him glory and receive the blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Anoint your people. Touch them, Lord. Heal them, Lord. Deliver them from all the power of darkness. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Most high. 